Welcome to this tutorial. By seeing this tutorial, you will be able to learn about Class 1 Elementary Mathematics, Chapter 13, Subtraction, page number 74. So let's get started and try to do the class. Dear students, you can see it is page number 74 of your books. We can see there has almost four types of questions. In question number one, you can see these are the questions based on subtraction and these all are very simple there we can see there has 15 questions and after that there has two three and four number questions which are a little bit critical from the first one and also you can see at the top of this page you can see some different types of questions are also available the author at the top of this page written that how do you subtract 8 from 14 the students by counting with your finger you can easily understand and you can easily get the answer of this question that if we subtract 14 from 8 or if we subtract 8 from 14 it will be 6 so it is a very easy but whenever you will try to fulfill these boxes how can you fill it so first of all you can see it is written that we can subtract 8 from 10 so that means whenever you will try to solve this question the first thing which you should do is subtract 8 from 10 and after that split 14 into dash and dash that means you should split or divide 14 into two parts so how we can fill these two boxes so first of all let's try to see the answer we can see there will be a 10 and there will be something so it is very easy to uh, just try to understand that if we subtract 14 minus 10 what will be the answer the answer will be 4 and that's why you should write a 4 here so there will be a 4 after that subtract 8 from dash and get dash so whenever you split this 14 into 10 and 4 after that whenever you will try to subtract 8 from 10 you can get 2 so that's why in this first full stop in this first blank line you should write that it will be 10 and whenever you subtract this 8 from 10 the answer will be 2 and in the final line of this question you can see it is written that 2 and dash make dash that's why you can see there has a 2 and at the first of this question we can see there has a 4 so 2 and 4 if we try to add this 2 with this 4 then the fill up of this boxes will be like that 2 and 4 makes 6 and that's why the answer of this question that means subtract 8 from 14 the answer will be 6 so I hope you all were able to understand that how we can find the solution of this easy question now we will try to jump into our new question and that is question number one and the title of this question is subtraction the first question is 14 minus 9 is equal what so you can see the answer will be like that 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 if we see question number two the question is 14 minus 6 is equal what you can see that 14 minus 6 is equal 8 if we see question number 3 the question is 14 minus 5 is equal what so it will be like that 14 minus 5 is equal 9 so how you can get these answers very easily so first thing you should do is to use your fingers of your hand and count them with a basic and clear concept and then you can get the answer and also you can do you can write a lot of lines 
beside your papers beside your notebooks and then you can count by the lines so that's are the procedure to solve any types of questions of subtractions so now it is time to solve question number four where we can see that 11 minus 8 is equal what you know that 11 minus 8 is equal 3 and that's the answer of question number four if we see what will be the answer of the next question that means 11 minus 4 is equal what you know that 11 minus 4 is equal 7 so the answer of question number 5 will be 7 if we see what will be the answer of question number 6 it is 11 minus 2 you know that 11 minus 2 is equal 9 and it's the answer of question number 6 if we see question number 7 where it is written that 12 minus 7 is equal what you know that 12 minus 7 is equal 5 and it will be the answer if we see question number 8 where it is the question 13 minus 9 is equal what you know that 13 minus 9 is equal 4 and it's the answer of question number 8 if we see question number 9 where it is mentioned that 15 minus 6 is equal what you know that 15 minus 6 is equal 9 and it's the answer if we see question number 10 where it is written that 18 minus 9 is equal what you know that 18 minus 9 is equal 9 and it's the answer if we see question number 11 where it is written that 12 minus 6 is equal what you know that 12 minus 6 is equal 6 and it's the answer and after that if we see question number 12 where it is written that 16 minus 8 is equal what we can see that 16 minus 8 16 minus 8 will be 8 and it's the answer after that if we see question number 13 it is 12 minus 3 is equal what you know that 12 minus 3 is equal 9 and it will be the answer of question number 13 now if we see what will be the answer of question number 14 there the question is 13 minus 5 is equal what you know that 13 minus 5 is equal 8 and it will be the answer of question number 14 if we see the last and final question of this uh, subtractional problems of the first question of this page and it is question number 15 where it is written that 17 minus 8 is equal what and it's very easy you know that 17 minus 8 is equal 9 and that's the answer of this question and now it is time to go to another question and it's a little bit critical from the first one so let's try to read the question and then we will try to solve these questions so the question is Karim had 14 spinning tops from which he gave BT six spinning tops how many spinning tops were left with Karim so the question is at the first of this topic or at the first of this story Karim had 14 spinning tops and after that he gave someone six spinning tops so the basic concept of this question is at first Karim had 14 tops but after that he gave six tops so whenever anyone will give anything from his total amount the number of his first amount will be decreased and as it is a problem of decreasing that's why you should apply the concept of subtraction in this question so now it is time that how we can summarize or how we can customize this question and then how we can find the solution of this question so let's go to the board and try to see what will be the answer of this question number two so in the first line you should write that Karim had 14 spinning tops and after that you should write he gave six spinning tops so as earlier I mentioned that as it's a question of subtraction as it's a question where you should apply the concept of decreasing that's why there you should write a minus sign so the T 
tutor or so the teacher or the examiner who will examine you or who will test you he can easily understand that what you were done actually that's why we write a minus sign here so that the teacher can easily understand that what you were done so after that at the final line you should write that there were eight spinning tops left so how we can find this eight so let's try to calculate if you try to count with your fingers of your head you can see 14 minus 6 is equal 8 so it's very easy but whenever or how you can check that if your answer was right or wrong so that's the procedure if we add this 8 with this 6 the answer will be the first one so let's try to see if we add the 6 with this 8 that means 8 plus 6 will be 14 and that's written in the first line of this question so that means whenever we will subtract 14 minus 6 that will be 8 it's true but whenever you also try to add 8 plus 6 is equal what 8 plus 6 is equal also 14 so that's the answer of this question so at the last line of this question you should write that answer eight spinning toys or eight spinning tops were left so dear students i hope you all were able to solve this question and i think you all are trying to write these questions in your notebook so then so that you can easily practice them after the class so now we will try to go back into our page so that we can see what is the another question which is mentioned in page number 74 we can see in page number 74 the question number three is Isha's mother gave Isha four guavas out of 11 guavas how many guavas were left with her mother that means at the first moment her mother had 11 guavas but when she gave Isha four guavas the total number will be decreased and as earlier I mentioned whenever in any types of questions the total number will be decreased at the time or to solve that particular question you should apply the concept of subtraction so that's why whenever we will try to solve this question number three we should apply the concept of subtraction like the first one so now it is time that how we can customize or summarize the question so let's go to the board and try to see what will be the solution of question number three so it is the answer of the question number three in the first line you should write mother had 11 guavas and after that in the next line you should write that she gave isha four guavas and as earlier i mentioned as the total number will be decreased that's why you should write a minus sign here so the examinee or so that the tutor can easily understand that what you are doing so now at the last line you should write that there were seven guavas left so how we can find this seven because 11 minus 4 is equal 7 so actually whenever you will be able to use your fingers whenever you will be able to count your fingers or whenever you will be able to count the lines that time you can easily find out the solution that 11 minus 4 is equal 7 so as earlier you can see that these types of questions should read or should write an answer so the answer of this question number three will be like that seven guavas were left with her mother so that's the answer of question number three so dear students i hope you all were able to understand me and now it's time to go back to pay to go back to the page again and try to see what was question number four in question number four we can see make a story for the mathematical sentence 13 minus 6 so dear students 
if we see question number two and question number three there has the problems or there has the questions where the author written the questions like a story but now the time where you should make an individual story you should make a story by concepting or by focusing on this mathematical sentence that is 13 minus 6 is equal what so now try to write the solution of question number four but before sol solving this question number four i want to remind you that actually there has hundreds of different types that how you can solve this question so it is very easy so as you can see or as you will be see later in this board that i i were i was trying to solve this question with a mathematical story but you can solve these questions in another way so it is totally depend on your own will so now let's try to see what will be the solution of question number four so it can be like that we can see it is written that Zakir had 13 books from which he gave six books to Tanvir how many books were left with Zakir so actually in this story you can see at the first line someone had 13 books whenever he gave six books this mathematical term will like be this that 13 minus 6 is equal 1 so it's very easy and the focus is or the concept is you shouldn't follow this formula you can use another solve you can you can use another way that how you can solve this question so you can also make another story yeah the story should be like that that Fahim had 13 13 notebooks from which he gave six notebooks to uh, to his friend then how many notebooks were left with him so actually it can be solved in various types of ways so just try to be a creative student and try to find the solution of this question number four so dear students i hope you all were able to understand me and understand my lectures but uh, as you know uh, every time from this channel we just try to give you the best support in your educational field and we continuously just try to uh, give or just try to contribute on your education and you can find a lot of educational videos on our youtube channel so stay connected with us and before going to uh, another way or before finishing this class i want to give you a big thanks thank you very much everyone for seeing this class well another video will be published as soon as possible so goodbye take care